Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Welcome to Second Home. Yet another exciting episode. We bring you in Second Home different events covered in different expat communities among Kuwait. Well, today we are all gathered here to join in the celebrations of 4th of July, which you might know is the Independence Day of the United States of America. We are here in collaboration with American Business Council here today to honor the soldiers for their services they have provided to us. here with Lieutenant Colonel Keith from Camp RF John. Welcome to our show, sir. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure having you here. Could you please tell us a bit about yourself? Um, I'm with Task Force Spartan. It's a group of soldiers from Camp RF John Ku uh, right here in Kuwait. Um, we're, we've been on ground for a few months and uh, we're about halfway through our particular uh, mobilization here and in enjoying our stay in Kuwait. And uh, opportunities like this are nice to be able to get us out and uh, interact with uh, some some more uh, of the things and organizations around uh, the um, Kuwait community. And uh, we appreciate organizations like the American Business Council of Kuwait for uh, making these opportunities possible. Okay, so what is it about Kuwait that you really like about Kuwait? Please give us a few words on that. <laughs> It's great just being in, in a place uh, away from home where you can experience different things. Uh, we, we recently had a few opportunities to go out and enjoy some experiences with Ramadan, and that was really great. Uh, we're, we're here for, obviously, for the, uh, our celebration of uh, America's, or the United States uh, Independence Day. However, we got on ground right about the time Kuwait was celebrating their Independence Day. And although we were well aware of it, we we're just getting established here on ground. So we didn't really have a chance to get out there and experience that. But, but those are the things that we're always looking forward to an opportunity uh, to be, part, be, be a part of while we're here. A few words about today's events, please. Um, we, uh, we'd like to thank the American Business uh, Council of Kuwait and uh, all their wonderful sponsors that help uh, organize and put an event like this on. Uh, it's a, a little piece of home that we get to bring forward here with us and uh, a chance for us to get uh, outside of our camp and just to uh, have some fun and experience some new things. Okay, and any message for the viewers and people we have here with us today? Uh, we so far we've really enjoyed our op the opportunities that we've had to get out in the community and we're really looking forward to uh, a lot of uh, more opportunities like that and, and as we go forward uh, more events uh, with organizations such as the Qu uh, uh, the disabled uh, sports club and a few other organizations like that uh, we, we really just like gotten opportunities to get off of our camp and and have some experiences with local people in Kuwait well, it was lovely talking to you. Thank you for speaking to us and enjoy the evening. Thank you. We have another important personality here with us this evening. His name is Mr. Ashish from Smash Events. Welcome to our show, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please tell me a bit about yourself and about this event. Well, uh, this is the 4th of July event that we're doing over here for ABCK. I'm the managing partner for Smash Events. And we decided to manage it for them as well as become a partner 
and we did all the branding uh, that you see here. It's been done by us. We wanted to give the soldiers a day to enjoy, and uh, I, I'm glad that everybody has, and I hope you have also. I definitely did. I saw the feeling out here was very homely. So what's the concept behind that? If you could elaborate a bit more on sure. that, please. Well, uh, back home in States, these soldiers would celebrate 4th of July, let's say, in their backyard. Barbecue, um, some friends over, dip in the swimming pool. They can't do it here. So the idea was to bring them here and create a family environment and let them enjoy themselves with their um, fellow soldiers and have a good time. That's amazing. So what kind of things did you have to come through to put this event for forward? Oh, uh, well, a lot of planning went into this. Uh, we were always in touch with the ABCK. Uh, we want to let them know that whatever they want, we can provide. And they themselves, this is the first time they did it. So we started with just, say, the decoration, uh, getting the soldiers here on time, uh, making sure that they had, uh, how should I put it, this environment where everywhere they looked, they felt uh, like home. So we spoke to them about a dozen times, more maybe. It's the first time they're doing it, first time we're doing it. So yeah, a lot of uh, details went into doing it. Yeah. Everything from decoration, like I said, to the branding. Okay, now a bit more about uh, Smash Events, please. Okay, Smash Events uh, was, is very new actually. Uh, 2018 was when it was born. And uh, we're a team of five right now. Where, uh, we do corporate events, uh, brand uh, launches, product launches, um, uh, mall activations, you name it. And uh, this is one of our biggest events uh, till date with the ABCK. Perfect, amazing. So what's the best way people can reach to you? Well, uh, it's Kuwait, so Instagram us, and uh, we're there as Smash Events Global. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you for having a conversation with us, and I'm pleased to be a part of this event, and I wish you great success in future. Thank you so much, and thank you for coming, thank you for covering. It was a pleasure. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs>here with DJ T-Zone. Welcome to our show, sir. How do you feel about this event today? Oh, this is a very great event. It's great that the American Business Council of Kuwait welcomes everyone here and their sponsors to have a great Independence Day celebration here at the hotel. It's a very beautiful event today. Okay, so can t tell me a bit about more your, about yourself, please. Um, I'm Master Sergeant Daniel Plummer with the Pennsylvania Army National Guards. Uh, we've been here for several months. My original home state is Pennsylvania, and uh, some of the things I do in Pennsylvania is I'm a disc jockey, and I decided to take some of that music and share it with the people here today so they can listen to some of the rock and roll, uh, salsa, merengue, jazz, hip-hop, R&B, different types of music for them to listen to. Today. What is your favorite type of music? Um, I would say between salsa and merengue because I'm a percussionist, so I play congas and timbales for bands. Okay, so how many events have you covered in Kuwait? Is this your first event or have you been to other events as well? Uh, only where we are stationed, where I've played some events there for the soldiers. Um, basically on my time off on a Sunday, just to, for them to relax and listen to some of the music where I could take them back home. What do you like about Kuwait? Oh, it's beautiful. I could tell you it's hot. <laughs> so this is a beautiful day, a beautiful hot day to be out on the beach, uh, listen to some music. Drink a lot of water, eat a, some fine food that we're going to experience today. So it's a very, very beautiful uh, country and it's a pleasure to be here. Any message for the viewers here, please? 
Um, this is beautiful. If you've never been here specifically to this hotel, it's a beautiful hotel. The hospitality has been great. Uh, the people have been full of smiles and joy all day today. And the weather luckily held up for us today. It was a little windy early in the week. And they knew today was a day, was a special day, Independence Day celebration. And now the weather came for us and we're happy to be here today to have fun. Yeah, I can tell that. I mean, the atmosphere is lovely and with the music, it definitely adds a value to it. Well, thank you for speaking to us today. Oh, uh, you're very welcome. Thank you for being here and for uh, listening to some of the sounds from DJ T Zone. We're in conversation here with Mr. Saif, the director of catering at Jumeirah. Welcome to our show, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, I would like to ask you what sort of arrangements you had to make here to make this event a success. I mean, I see the live barbecue station and the live drinks corner, juice corners. It's amazing. What sort of arrangements you had to make to make this successful? Well, um, definitely it needs a lot of arrangements uh, with the number of people involved in this. Uh, I'm sure that um, operational arrangements is needed, time is also needed staffing and a lot of a lot of things in regards of this event okay so are, is this like your first social cost catering event or do you hold more social cost catering events as well of course we do host a lot of events outside the hotel inside the hotel yeah. how many events have you covered so far where you provided the catering services from Jumeirah <laughs> honestly speaking I cannot remember it's a lot I mean at least for the for the last month we're talking about um, a minimum of 10 to 15 events that requires a lot of commitment and time. So how much time does it require to bring up an event like that? For such events, we're talking about a minimum of two weeks. Um, uh, we have to arrange the, how many staffing do we need, uh, kitchen staff, um, pool and beach staff. A lot of equipments are required to be prepared as well. Uh, bear in mind that we have also uh, a lot of guests in house that needs to be taken care of. So both together needs, as you said, a lot of commitment and preparation. Okay, so I would like to ask you a bit more about yourself. I mean, how many years have you been in this business for? Uh, well, I started in 2000, uh, so we're talking about almost 18 years in the hotel field. So it's quite the first place where you started working or were there other places as well? I went through different countries around the world. Uh, I'm originally from Egypt, so definitely I worked in Egypt. Uh, I worked in uh, Qatar, uh, Kuwait, Indonesia. Uh, England, London, and um, Syria. That's amazing. Well, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for ha for speaking to us, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. The pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. beautiful musical evening it is here today now I'm in conversation with a band who's playing here called the jam start band and I'll be taking you towards the members of this band and we'll have a conversation with them welcome to our show ma'am hi welcome also here in MBCK it was lovely having you on our show today can you please tell us a bit about your band we're an all Filipino band and we're here uh, like we're already playing for four years already Yes. What sort of events have you been playing at? We're playing on private events, uh, occasions uh, also specializing for all kind of nationalities. Uh, they ask us to, to, to play for them and then for restaurants also. Every Thursday we play also in Coffee Masters, 8 to 11 p.m. Okay, where is Coffee Masters, if I may ask you, so our viewers can know and they can catch you live there? Sure, it's in uh, Salmia, it's just near and uh, Symphony Hotel. And what sort of music do you play in your band? It's a variety band. So we're playing variety of songs. We play uh, r and pop, rock, everything. How long have you been in Kuwait for? 
actually I've been in Kuwait for five years already. Yes. Okay. That's lovely. And any message for our viewers today? Catch up in catch us up in Coffee Masters Kuwait every Thursday, 8 to 11 p.m. And please like our page J M S T A R T uh, in Facebook and please follow us in Twitter and Instagram. It was lovely speaking to you. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you so much and have a good day. We're in conversation with one of the key organizers of this event here today, Mr. Frank, who is the board member of American Business Council in Kuwait. Welcome to our show, sir. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here. Could you please tell me about this event, a bit more about this event, if you could elaborate a bit on it, please? Of course. Uh, the American Business Council of Kuwait is hosting this event. Uh, the American Business Council of Kuwait is a nonprofit organization that focuses on promoting American business and is business of those organizations from here in Kuwait as well that are members. And we do all kinds of different events and we're privileged to host this 4th of July event for many of the American soldiers that are out on the camps. So what we've done is working with many of our sponsors, we've brought all of this organization together and we were able to bring up to almost 250 soldiers out of the camps to spend an afternoon and evening here having a barbecue and to celebrate the 4th of July. It does take a lot of commitment to hold something like that. So how long did it take you and what were some of the difficulties maybe you faced in bringing this event together? One of the, uh, we have a, a great staff and a great group of members and within our organization and they've been working tirelessly for actually a few months just to coordinate all of this, not just to coordinate all of the assets that you see here like the food, the cater, all of those, but also to coordinate with the U.S. and the VIPs that are coming from both the U.S. camps and from the U.S. Embassy. So there was a large effort to going into this and my hats off to all of the members of ABCK and all of those corporate sponsors that took all the time and the volunteers that took all the time to pull all of this event together. Definitely, uh, I can see, I mean, the how the event looks like. It looks like a great success and congratulations to you for having, for hosting such a great event. Could you please tell me a bit more about American Business Council in Kuwait? Sure, we're a nonprofit organization and we focus on promoting American business in Kuwait. But we have many non-American Kuwaiti companies as part of our organization and we promote them as well. So we enjoy working with everybody. But our primary goal is focusing on the efforts of America and the American uh, uh, businesses that want to do business here in Kuwait. But we also, as you can see, do many other events too in support of both our organization and in support of, of Americans. Do you think events like this uh, promote friendly relationships between America and Kuwait? Absolutely. There's actually several Kuwaitis that are here part of this organization. I'm married to a Kuwaiti and she's a volunteer in this organization. So there's a, it, it helps, you know, the Americans that are all on the camps, they don't get the opportunity very often to mingle with the local uh, Kuwaitis and with other people here within Kuwait. So it's a great opportunity for that as well. And, uh, and for them to understand what Kuwait really is, a beautiful country with lots of beautiful people and opportunities. Any message for the viewers? Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching very much. And uh, please come support ABCK, come join us, become a member of the organization. We're happy to have you. And thank you very much for all the things that Kuwait does for us. Thank you for sparing a few minutes and speaking to us. I wish you a beautiful evening. Thank you very much. And I wish you all a wonderful night too. Beautiful evening, beautiful people. We're now in conversation with the chairperson of American Business Council in Kuwait. Welcome to our show, Ms. Juliet. Thank you. I'm Dr. Juliet Dinkin. I'm the chairwoman of the American Business Council, and we are a non for profit organization where we try to coordinate a lot of activities. One of them is this. This is one of the very um, selective ones that we did to celebrate 4th of July and Independence Day for the. And we also have soldiers here, we have a lot of Americans here, we have a lot of members of ABCK. This is just to really honor and thank the soldier men for their all their hard work and for making America great. So the idea is like we wanted to be able to do something outdoors where they can come, where members can come, be really relaxed and have a great time with them. So now we have a buffet, we have individuals that are just, you know, having a good time without having to be complicated or working or whatever. And I, I know that this is really helps a lot with the American business because we need to really know and people need to know all the hard work that we do and all the events that we've created throughout the year. And this is going to mark our last one for the year until next year, inshallah. 
have heard that this was your first uh, July event, so it's pretty hard to manage something in a weather like Ku the kind of weather we have in Kuwait. What sort of difficulties you faced in bringing this together? Well, you know, we want we always want to do a Fourth of July, and this is the biggest one we've done, where we wanted to do it outdoorsy, just like we do in the U.S., where we have a barbecue and where people can have band and music and celebrate. And it's very hard because, as you know, it's very very hot. It's hot, so whenever we think about what to do for Fourth of July, and a lot of times our members are also traveling, but we've been very, very lucky actually to be able to do this outdoorsy, to give people the opportunity to celebrate Fourth of July in Kuwait, and also to be together and mark the uh, a celebration of independence. We, I mean, and again, the servicemen and the military men that we have here, they're all here because we wanted to thank them for all the hard work that they do for us. It's amazing. I mean, I can just see I'm mesmerized by the atmosphere here. It I looks know, absolutely right? cool. Uh, and I wish you great success for all that you do. you do. And is this like the only cause you work for? Or are there other things you work for as well? Actually, uh, ABCK is a non-for-profit. We coordinate a lot of uh, events, but we don't. We're not just an event. We're here to help members to be able to to support businesses, American businesses that come to Kuwait. But we also help Kuwaitis that want to be in business with the um, with the you know in in America or here. We really work a lot close to with the commercial office in the embassy. So actually, the reason why ABCK was created is to support the Americans in Kuwait, but also to be able to help people understand what kind of uh, merchandise we have here we have gas and oil we have a lot of other merchants to be able to coordinate with them yes. I wish you success Thank I mean you. this is a great event you have organized it just feels the I can feel the vibe of states over here I so know, like I think that was so the happy, idea right? everyone's happy and everyone is just relaxed and this is really what the purpose of this is what we are meant to have this is the ability to be able to thank people, not only our members, but people that have supported ABCK throughout the year. Thank you so much for thank sparing you. a few minutes of your time and speaking to us. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We're now in conversation with Mr. Lal Manoj Kumar from Hayat International. Without his contribution, this event would not have been a success. Thank you for your contribution, sir. May I please have a few words about yourself? Thank you very much. Uh, I was born in Kuwait and I was raised over here. The schooling was done here and been working with this company, Hayat International, for almost 15 years now. And uh, yeah, well, it is a duty to help the uh, soldiers of US and the 4th of July is a very memorable day and I work as a, a financial and development manager in Hayat International with a privilege to help and support them. Can you please tell us about your contributions to today's event? Yeah, we are into uh, outdoor cooling system. Hayat International is known because they were the first ones to introduce the mist and the fog system out here in Kuwait. And since then, we have been uh, supporting uh, a lot of uh, outdoor cooling events. That was what we have done. We have supported them with the outdoor cooling. I don't think so it would have been possible without that, with the kind of weather we have in Kuwait. And thank you for speaking to us. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you. amazing time here and as soldiers from American camps had an amazing time here as well. The environment is extremely buzzing. It all talks about the celebrations of Independence Day. We enjoyed a lot and we hope you enjoyed being a part of this event. Stay blessed and stay happy from the team of Second Home.